Specific, extraordinary, unconventional. These are the three things that you need to make remarkable video content for LinkedIn. If you watch no further, that should be enough to get you started. The reason I'm telling you this now is because I'm a great believer in getting the best stuff out there first. So as with your content as well, give me the headlines, give me the really interesting stuff right at the start. If you feel your content does meet one of these criteria, specific, extraordinary, and conventional, but it's still not making waves in the world of LinkedIn, then carry on listening and I'll help give you some guidance on the next things that you can do to get remarkable video content for LinkedIn. So tip two, strategy. You wanna get really clear here. You wanna really understand why you're doing this and what it's for. Are you trying to generate leads? Are you trying to sell more to existing customers? Right from the start, get really clear what it's gonna do. Also, you wanna work out what the KPIs are. So for a client we worked with recently, it wasn't a straightforward KPI because it, no one was gonna click the link on the video, go and buy something from their website or make an inquiry. So what they wanted to encourage was conversation. So the way we measured it was when they went out networking locally, were people talking about the videos? Did they come up to them and say, oh, I saw the video on LinkedIn? Um, which they did, so you know, great news. Some people commented and said, oh, we'd be really interested in working with you. So there's other KPIs, for example, views of the videos, that's a, that's a good measure. How many website hits that you're gonna get? what kind of reach you're looking at. So just get clear about what the numbers are so you can effectively measure whether the campaign's been worthwhile or not. Tip three, what kind of content are you looking at? Are you, are you gonna be talking to the camera like I am now? Are you gonna be talking off camera like it's an interview? Um, are you gonna be using footage? And are you going to film footage around your offices, around your factories? Are you going to buy stock footage online? There's also motion graphics and animation, um, which is another way to go. Each type has its own advantages. So it's just about really thinking, leading back to the strategy, what's important? Like, what's going to make the most impact? You can shoot vlogs on your phone. Um, if you've got lots of people to shoot vlogs for, then maybe that won't work. Yeah, if you are confident enough to pick up your phone and shoot a vlog, go for it because they can be very effective pieces of content on LinkedIn. Tip four, engagement and relevance. You've got about five seconds to get people's attention, so don't mess around. Get the most interesting stuff out there right away. Also, not everyone's gonna watch your video. Make it specific to your audience. Give your audience what they want. Don't worry about the 500 people that didn't watch it. It will be interesting to the people that you've made it for, so focus on them. Tip five is about production. So you really want to plan your production as well as possible. So spend time beforehand thinking about what's going to happen on the day, where it's going to happen, book the rooms in advance, all these things that seem simple, but sometimes we go to places where the basics aren't organized and then you end up faffing around and you don't get a chance to maximize the content. Because when you've got a film crew, or even if you're doing stuff yourself, you want to make sure you can maximize the amount of content you can capture in one day. It's pretty difficult to get lots of senior people to come do some filming all at once. So if you've got a really clear plan, make sure that you get them along at the right time. Make sure that you've thought about other things that they can do. So if the piece of the camera you have in mind only takes them 10 minutes, but you've got them for another 20, have other pieces of content lined up. Get that information out of their brain for future content. People are normally quite nervous when they're on camera. So even me now filming this blog, it's, it's a difficult thing to do. It's really, it, do, it does fill you with nerves and you get lots of adrenaline and it's hard to remember what you say. Hence, I have my laptop in front of me because it's quite difficult. Um, so treat them well, you know, treat people nicely, try and build their confidence. There's, if they don't get it right first time, don't kick them, you know, encourage them and, and help them. A trick we use when we do productions is if someone's getting really close, but they're starting to get frustrated um, about what they're saying, um, we sometimes might say, oh, there's a problem with the sound. Can you just do that one again? And so rather than saying that wasn't good enough, could you do it again? We use some little techniques to try and get people to keep talking. Tip six is how to share. So you wanna make sure you upload the content directly to the platform, whether that's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of the content works much better if you upload it natively rather than say putting it on YouTube and posting a link. On all of the platforms, you will get more likes, more shares, more comments. It's just more likely to make a better impact because the platforms prefer it. Also, you really wanna make sure the follow on content is good. So you've got a link on the post and you say, click here for more information. 
we once did a campaign where we made some lovely, lovely videos. We got 4.5% of people click through, which is really, really good. But then unfortunately, 90% of them bounced off the website because the content didn't match. We sent them with beautiful content and the content on the other end didn't match. So you want to be careful about what the follow-on content is. Content that you make for LinkedIn normally works quite well on Facebook and Twitter, as long as your audience is relevant and the same. Tip seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tip seven. Oh, Woo! Also, or is it my final tip on the last one was the yeah. campus thing. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a bit camp, it's fine, works, yeah. It works, yeah. yeah. And my final tip. <laughs> tip seven, how often should you post? We worked with a company recently where we used the company director's LinkedIn profile and we posted Monday, different piece of content Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by Friday, the number of views had split in half and we weren't getting anywhere near as many views as the content that we put out Monday. So it looks like LinkedIn doesn't like it if you flood the market with lots of content. So spread it out a bit. Use all the different people in the company. Make sure you tag people um, in your post. So if you've interviewed someone in the post, tag them. Uh, in this post, I'll tag people that I've talked to about making a blog to kind of get to build interest, build likes, build, um, build reach of the content. So those are my seven tips. Remember, specific, extraordinary, unconventional equals remarkable video content. Thank you for watching.